All right, guys, I just bought this $300 1998 Ford Escort. The owner knew very little about cars, and uh, my, my goal for this car is to go ahead and flip it for some profit, and I'm gonna walk you guys through every step of that. Now, this car has 169,000 miles on it. It's an automatic from 1998, and the owner said that it would start on jumper cables. I confirmed that, and that the moment you take the jumper cables off, it will not run. I quickly concluded with a multimeter that it was the alternator, so we're here today in the parking lot that I bought it from. We're going to change the oil, alternator, and spark plugs and see if we can get this bad boy home. Let's do it. Guys, so here's the engine, not in too bad of a shape. Went ahead and pulled these spark plugs out to take a look to see if any oil was filling spark plug wells. Oil's right on top of the valve cover. Not too big of a concern for me. We're gonna pull these spark plugs out, take how they look. As I'm about to take the uh, belt off, I notice that there's a black widow in my car. Thank God I didn't put my hand down there. Here at the bottom of the engine, got this timing belt off and free from the alternator. It actually looks fairly new, which is concerning. But uh, we're getting some spark plugs in right now. Let's see how this goes. All right, so as you can see, the interior has seen better days, but I'm gonna walk through, get this detailed up, and see if we can make a profit on it. I'm gonna open up this trunk, something I have not done, and take a look. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Is that green bean? There's somebody's underwear in here. Oh That's my god. It's a baby's rocking god. chair, some baby toys. All right, guys, we got the alternator in, and the oil change, spark plugs. They didn't have an air filter in stock at my location, so we're gonna have to run that old thing for a little bit longer. Um, one thing I did realize was that this red wire is actually running to the radiator fan and is permanently on there, so the moment that the car ignition goes on, the radiator fan permanently runs. So it's a, it's a jerry-rig wiring. We're definitely gonna try and figure that out. I'm gonna head to pull apart tomorrow, but let's see if we can get this thing started. If not, we'll be back tomorrow morning. Alrighty guys, it is running on the jumper cable two sets for alternate starting capabilities. The moment of truth will come when we unplug the jumper cable. Guys, she's running under her own weight. No more, the alternator did it. She's good. All right, the car's running. The left and right turn signals are working. And look at this. We pull up the scan tool and there is no stored codes or pending tools in the menu. Somebody could have erased them, but it would have thrown any major code probably again by now. Either that or the whole ECU's fucked and we have no idea what we're doing. So, thank you. Well guys, I now officially have a $300 car that runs and drives. And let me tell you, it does not run and drive well, but it does run and drive. Overall guys, I had a fun time working on the vehicle today. I'm glad we could get it running and get it back home. There is a very bad suspension or braking problem. I haven't figured it out yet. I'll take a look at it tomorrow and we'll go ahead and get started with that. But for now, I'm gonna end the video. Thank you for everybody that helped. My two friends, Tyler and Luke. Thank you guys very much. And I hope you guys have a great day. All right, I threaded the new outer tie rod in on and then pushed it down, put some thread. Can I go ahead? Get the turn it off. Turn it off! Who the fucking Euro bag? <laughs> Damn it, dude. God, this thing's gonna be a crap. <laughs> 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 Might as well. <laughs>
car he is. Look at your car.